Cool. When did you get into acting? I've been acting since I was a little kid. Um, you know, uh, I did a little stage in high school, um, but I've always been performing like since I was a little kid. Um, just growing up and in front of my family, I've always had that kind of performance <laughs> attitude. <laughs> yeah. And, and uh, what has it been like so far? What has the experience been like for you? Um, it's been, I mean, there's been, you know, pros and cons to it. There's a lot of rejection in the business, and, okay. you know, everybody will tell you that. Uh, but it's, it's been amazing. It, it's given me a backbone to, to deal with it and, and, and also to push me forward and, and to work harder um, when, that, when that kind of stuff happens. Uh, but it's been amazing. I've been blessed with some really great opportunities to do the jobs that I've done and, and, and the projects that I've done and um, that I'm really excited about. And, you know, like, like I said, it's, it's just God's blessed me with a lot of opportunities to, to do what I do and to inspire other people, and I've gotten to do that. So. Awesome. And you're also pursuing the music industry. Yeah. So how does it differ from the acting? Um, it's it's just as you know it, you got to work just as hard, uh, right. not harder. And I, I always tell people I I can outwork anybody, um, and I'll work harder than anybody around me. And so um, I'm I'll take that and, and really work hard on it and focus on it. And I've been playing music since I was a little kid, and um, that was my first passion. And and that's why I'm doing this, and um, and so yeah, I, I, I think I'm doing everything that I do. It's just to inspire other people to be themselves and do what they love to do as well. And also, I just have this like artsy thing that I just right. get out and, and you know and, <laughs> and, and, and be myself. So um, so yeah, that's uh, the music industry. It's 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 tough, but it it also it's so powerful. Music's always so powerful, and I use it even in my acting world and. <clears throat> I, uh, yeah, it, it differs just because it's, I think more people connect with it, because everybody connects with music, yeah. some sort of music, you know? Yeah, exactly, and what do you find more challenging? Um, between acting and music? Yeah. Um, to be honest with you, I, I don't know. I, I think they're both equally challenging because, you know, all the preparation and work I do for a character, I, I do the same for every single song that I sing to put the emotion in the song. Um, you know, I think it, it, it's it's the same thing when I put the emotion into the character, I gotta put the emotion into the song so people feel the song right. rather than just hear someone sing it. I've been listening to Ron Oh, have you? Oh, oh, thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, thank yeah. you. That means a lot. It's really good. Yeah, it's, it's good, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. That means no, so I, I, I've been like listening to like, the, the beats and it's very like clean and fresh. It is. It's, it's, yeah. it's, very, it's very clean and um, that was one of the things that they're, they're very proud of, the producers. And, and writers, it's just very, it's, it's a little different, and um, we have fun making it. I mean, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Did you do it here in the studio? No, 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 no. We, no. we did it over in uh, at Mirabal. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fine. yeah. Um, and when uh, when did you decide to move towards music? Um, I think I've always done music since, okay. the, since the day I came out here, and, and always since I was a kid. Um, that was my original passion and my, my initial passion towards the entertainment business. and. Um, I've always been performing and growing up, I've been performing right. and um, even though I've been doing acting projects, I've always had music going. I had a band before I went solo and um, uh, and so yeah, it, it's always been there. I kind of put it on hold for a little bit because I was waiting for the right moment to, to express myself right. musically because if I'm not putting out things that I'm passionate about or if I'm not putting out truth, there's no point in me putting out anything, right. you know? Um, so I've always been doing it, I, and, and I think that now that I did <coughs> Hollywood Heights, and that was uh, you know everything that I've done, it's kind of been musically involved, every project almost, and um, I think now that Hollywood Heights is is gone, and I and I played Eddie Duran, which is very very similar to my per me yeah. as a person, um, I just felt like the right time, and we were I was writing music that that felt right, and so. I think that um, I was just waiting for, for the right moment to, to actually do the right thing. So. And um, is, it, is the song Atmosphere about anyone specific? Is it about something? It is, it is, okay. but it's a secret. Oh, <laughs> that's not It thing. is. Um, no, I, Atmosphere we wrote um, to, we, we really wanted people to connect with this first single. Um, okay. We really wanted the girls to be like, oh, the song's about me, which it, which it is. Right. You know, we really want people to 
to just hear the song and be like, oh, that could be me. Or I want boyfriends to dedicate that song to their girlfriends, you know? Like that was that was a big point. Like I really want my music to always connect with people and, and a wide range of people. So um, when we wrote it, it was just, okay, what, what, what can we do? What can we write to really make people be like, oh, I, wanna, I want this to be our relationship song or our, our love song or, or I want boyfriends to write down the lyrics on a piece of paper for their girlfriend and give it to them as a note. Um, so, so that's kind of what we wanted to do and, and yeah, every single song that I sing is about someone okay. in my life, but I'll, I'll never tell you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and are we going to get to hear the song on Hollywood Heights? No, actually, it was, it, it, okay. we, um, it's totally separate. I wanted to okay. keep Hollywood Heights and Eddie Duran completely separate from Cody Longo as a, music, okay. as a musician. Um, my Eddie Duran music, and, and that's all owned by Sony. Um, I wish I had a couple of the songs because I'd Did like to actually sing. sing them. Yeah, that's all my oh, all yeah. my voice, all my all every. It's all my original voice, and um, I actually didn't write any of the songs, but um, it's all me and my, my performance okay. and everything like that. But um, Daddy Duran is completely different than Cody Lockwood as a musician, um, okay. and they're both really cool. Yeah, no, they're <laughs> I'm proud, of, I'm yeah. proud of, her, uh, of both of them. So yeah, and how did you get the role of Eddie Duran? I took a couple meetings. Um, they had offered me the project early on, and um, I wasn't gonna play. It was actually another character that they had, they had offered me, and, and uh, we, were, we were thinking about doing it and considering it. And then, but I really wanted Eddie because uh, I knew that I could do it, and I was gonna be the best Eddie, and right. um, that was my character. Like, and so I just I went in and I told that to my to my agent. That I want Eddie, and um, we got it. Yeah, yeah. I, I auditioning, and I had, to, I had to go in and test and and go through a, an audition process, but okay. we ended up getting it. No worries. Yeah, and we had, we actually spoke to Brittany last week. Oh, did you really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she's a sweetheart. Yeah, huh? she is. Yeah. she really is. And we, uh, the chemistry between you and uh, Brittany's character Lauren yeah. have been like heating up. Yeah. How have you managed to keep that professional? Um. Oh, it's always professional. Yeah. Everybody's always very, very professional. I know it happens sometimes on sets um, where people start dating each other. But from the end, I have a, a complete set in stone rule that I will not date anybody I'm working with while I'm working okay. with them. Um, so I love Brittany. Brittany's a sweetheart. She's she's fantastic. But we're like buddies. Like, right. You know, we have a, a we have great chemistry on camera. Um, I think because we trust each other, okay. um, and that's what it takes with, with characters and people. When, uh, when you trust each other, your chemistry is going to be there and yeah. it's going to be good. So we have amazing chemistry and it works so well on camera and we're really good friends outside of that. Yeah. But that's just where we keep it. Um, and, and everybody in Hollywood Heights and everybody else that I've worked with, it's, it's always a very professional thing. Um, and like I said, I know sometimes it happens, people start dating each other. Right, and, yeah. um, but it, it was all professional and uh, we, we trusted each other. And, to, to be our characters and we trusted our characters and trusted our work and um, it worked out very yeah. well. No, yeah. it's, it's all, I, I want to Yeah, it. no, it's, it. I, oh, thank you so yeah, much, yeah, yeah. thank you. I was like, the minute I heard about it, I was like, this is interesting, and then I started watching it and then I was like, oh. It's yeah. kind of addictive, yeah, when, once you start really, watching it. Yeah, I yeah, know, totally. Yeah. Yeah. So. And then, um, so my favorite scene was the mm -hmm. piano scene. When you when Lauren's like sitting at the piano and you just like grab her at this end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what has been your favorite? Yeah, that that was a fun scene. I I love the performance scenes. Okay. Um, me on stage and when I did my concert with something in the air. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And actually in the in the first two episodes. Okay. That yeah. those were probably my favorite to shoot because I love being on stage right. and you know, performing and I performed in front of a bunch of people like real. Right. Like I um, actually just noticed that face. There was a Facebook in my for. For a concert, or there's gonna you're opening up for something. I'm I'm uh, opening for Andy Grammer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's awesome. In Newport on uh, the 14th of oh, September. Wow. That's awesome. I know it's it's amazing. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah. It's great. And um, is there gonna be a full album that we're gonna? There will be later in the year. What we're gonna okay. do is we're gonna release single uh, singles uh, first. We'll probably release three, maybe four singles. Um, okay. Because we want to get people warmed up to the music and who I am as an artist, and uh, we'll do videos, and you know I'll keep pushing them as singles, and and just like every artist. But mm -hmm. when the, when there's a full length album, it'll be released when it's ready. Right. Um, but that's 
that's a focus of mine, but it's 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 in 2013, yeah. possibly later this year. Okay. Um, but it's uh, the singles are the focus. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like when you know Lauren and you know her agent. Um, exactly. And they yeah. do, like they put they put you in the guitar yeah. and like in the back. Yeah. There. So we'll we'll do some yeah. features like that, and uh, it's always good to have people that have a name in the in the music industry yeah. that people respect to come in and do features on your songs because right. then it brings in other fans, excuse me, it brings in other fans and it brings in a whole different demographic and so that's what kind of what, Definitely. what we're looking for. And um, what's your favorite book or what book are you in the currently reading? I am you know what's funny is I'm actually about to start reading the Fifty Shades of Grey because I wonder like why these girls <laughs> are all obsessed with it. Um, and I'm actually curious because yes. uh, I want to read about the role um, because everybody in Hollywood's after oh. this, this role. Yeah, definitely. It's a very coveted role. And um, so I'm actually about to start reading that. And my favorite like book as a child, I always loved uh, Where the Red Fern Grows and uh, a book called Summer of Monkeys. It was kind of by the same author. Okay. Um, so those were like my favorite books growing up. but. I would like to start reading Fifty Shades of Grey. Nice. I said it. Good yeah. luck. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Yeah. And thank you. Yeah.